numbers here. 59 in Ocala and the Villages, so perhaps you want a jacket or a sweatshirt uh, if you are in Northern Lake or Sumter or Marion County. But it's 66 in Sanford, 67 Orlando, and 72 Melbourne. So the breeze off the ocean is keeping us a little warmer near the coast again this morning. Farther inland, though, it is cooler. We've got scattered clouds across the area, so we are waking up to at least some sunshine. And then a few little pockets of rain showing up there. Flagler, Volusia County. It is not much rain, but it is is coming in off the coast and this is pretty much what the radar is going to look like all day long. Just these tiny little pockets of rain rolling in and falling apart as they go though. So we'll see the northeast breeze will stay partly sunny and then uh, the winds will be particularly gusty along the coast. 15 25 mile per hour sustained winds by this afternoon. Now here's future cast because of those winds coming in off the ocean that will send some clouds in. So we will be partly sunny today and then also kick up just a couple little pockets of rain. Again, I'm going to put the coverage at 10%. Most of us will stay dry, especially the farther west you live, the less likely you are to get any rain at all even a brief shower, uh, not likely back to the west. So we'll hit 81 in Ocala with plenty of sun, couple of scattered clouds, 81 in the villages, and 82 will be our high in Claremont. We will hit 80 in Bithlow, and then 81 in Orlando and St. Cloud. 80 degrees is our average high for Orlando for today. Now the coast averages are a little cooler and we will be a little cooler there. So right around normal for Daytona Beach, 79 is where we're headed. Cocoa Beach also headed to 79 and then in Palm Bay, we will be at 81. Tomorrow, similar to today, except that it won't be as windy. The winds will be much lighter. We'll still have a few scattered clouds, couple of coastal showers. Wednesday, the coverage of rain heads up slightly, but not by much. Little bit more moisture starts to build in out ahead of our next front and that front actually starts to dry us out and cool us down just a little bit by the end of the week. Notice though the temperatures don't really change a whole lot. So even with a couple of fronts coming through this week, we won't really notice any big significant changes.